With BeatEdit's Repeat Keyframes feature, you can repeat any keyframed animations. For this clip, for example, we only needed to keyframe the first jump, and then we used BeatEdit to continue the animation in sync with the music. So, if we want to repeat some keyframes, we first need to create some keyframes here. There's no animation yet at all. And of course, we could keyframe something by hand, but what I want to do instead is using our other pretty cool extension, Squash and Stretch Pro, which has a big collection of ready-to-use behaviors in different bundles. And here in the cartoon bundle, we have this nice jump forward behavior. And I can simply select my icon here and click on Apply. And this will generate keyframes implementing exactly this move on our selected layer. So I can close Squash and Stretch Pro, and now we have here a lot of keyframes, namely on the position of the layer and also some Bezier warp effect that now is deforming the layer in this way. So you can see this is a pretty nice jump that we created here in like one single click effectively. And the first thing we need to do before we start repeating this is making sure that this first jump fits well to the music. Because only then BeatEdit will be able to repeat it in a way such that the subsequent jumps also look good to the music. So what we want to do for this is first actually see where our beats are. So we select our music and load it into BeatEdit. And then we make sure that no layer is selected and create beat markers, which are now our comp markers here. Now let's see where the first very prominent beat of the music is. It's this du -du -du -ba 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 -ba. Here is the first very prominent beat. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I want uh, this uh, icon here to jump at ex exactly this point. So I select all those keyframes and move them over such that the, the start of this jumping behavior, like here where it's flying upwards, this should roughly be uh, the point where our beat is. Let's see. Let's see how how this is looking like. This looks nice. It, it fits now very nicely to the music. I hope you can f can feel this. So it really looks like it's jumping in in sync with the music. And these keyframes now essentially belong to this marker here. Yeah. So at this beat, they are timed to this beat. And this is very important that you figure out to which beat they belong, because then you put your current time indicator to this beat, select your keyframes, and now you use here the repeat keyframes function, which is this icon here. And if you now click this, you get a dialog where you can first choose, do you want to use the selected beats, so the ones that are selected here in your beat edit tool, or comp markers. And we want to work with the comp markers in this case. Then you can say we want work area only, which we keep here, and then you have the options clip and continuous, which are a bit more complicated. Maybe let's first enable the clip option to see what's going on. You can see it's writing now all those keyframes, and the result looks like this. So this looks uh, definitely in sync with the music, but it's not really our entire move. And this is because this keyframe move that we had is longer than the time between one beat and the next beat. It's simply too long. Yeah. So we don't want this pattern to repeat on every beat, but only like on every fourth beat or so. So let me undo first. And now make sure we are again at this beat and select all those keyframes and repeat the keyframes again. And this time we disable the clip option because this clip option is what like says, okay, it's fine to clip the previous repetition to start the next one in time. And if we are not enabling the clipping, then it will try to repeat this pattern here that belongs to this beat now, first at this beat, and then it feels notices, oh no, this will overlap. So I skip this beat, goes to the next one, tests again, says, oh, this will overlap too, yeah, because these keyframes start a little bit earlier than the beat marker, so they start already here, it will skip this one too, and only at this speed it will continue repeating our pattern. Let's see this, this is exactly what's happening. So at this speed, this beat pattern is now repeated, that we had here belonging to this speed, and let's see how this is looking like. Mm -hmm. 
Looks interesting, but it's not yet what we want. And this is because now it's repeating every at every third beat. And what we actually rather wanted to do is to repeat on every fourth beat, because in the music you count like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And we always want to jump on the one. So not every three beats. And if we just disable the clip option and have every beat as a marker, then it will try to go as often as possible. So in this case, due to the length of this pattern, on every third beat marker. So what we do instead is we undo again and now we deselect the layer such that no layer is selected and then we click here to clear our markers. Now we want to create new markers for just every fourth beat, okay? So this means we go to the beat selection and say we want to select one beat every four beats. And now the problem is, okay, which beats should we select? We can select this one, but we could also click here to the next beat, for example, and click select again or we cl could click here and click select. So important is that we want to select it such that we always select the one from our one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four pattern. So let's play this music here back. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So you can see at the moment we have the two selected, yeah? And so we can just click here one beat before the currently selected one and now say select and now we should have three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So these, now we have exactly the beats selected, the ones where this blue icon here should jump. So great, we create markers for those. And you can see that this is right, that here's a marker where our keyframes belong to um, is among those selected beats. Great, so this means we can select those keyframes and now again, make sure that the current time indicator is at that marker. This really matters because if you like would move it here, beat edit would think, okay, these keyframes belong to this beat. They are like quite a bit earlier than this beat, but you tell me they belong to this beat. So probably this is some action that like logically belongs to something. It's like preparing some long, cool animation that is relying on this beat. So, um, Anyway, make sure to move the current time indicator to this beat to make everything work properly, to the beat that those keyframes belong to. And now again, we can go to our repeat keyframes function. Say, based on the comp markers, we want to repeat this. Clipping now does not matter anymore. We can enable it or not because it won't clip anyway with these markers being so far apart. Just the continuous option is something that I want to take a look at in a second, but let's first take a look at what it's looking like without. So now we have our keyframes repeated at each of those markers. And let's take a look at what it's looking like. So this is looking pretty nice, except that, well, it's just repeating exactly the same thing over and over again. And what we rather want is this animation to be continued. And this is, guess what, exactly what the continue option is for. So I undo, did undo here again. I make sure again we are at this marker with our current time indicator, have all those keyframes selected. Click on repeat keyframes. And now let's enable this continuous option. And it looks exactly like before, but you can already see here on the motion path, like magic. Each copy of our keyframes now continues exactly where the previous copy ended. So you can like continue your animation easily with the help of this checkbox. Yeah, and this is effectively everything you need to know about the repeat keyframes feature. So it works with any kind of keyframes. These are look almost all like linear keyframes, but it works with any easing. It works with any type of property here. And again, make sure when you use it to put the current time indicator at the marker to which those keyframes belong, then select all those keyframes and apply it. One little thing that you should also know is that if you already have keyframes on your property, let's say you want to repeat those keyframes here, and here you have already keyframes and now you apply the repeat keyframes feature, then BeatEdit will do its best to like combine the existing animation with these repetitions, in particular if you enable the continuous option. So be aware if you don't want this, if you want it to override existing keyframes, delete those keyframes before applying the repeat keyframes feature. Okay, so that's it for repeating keyframes and see you in the next tutorial.